Add comments to a picture in Excel. If we have a background picture within our Excel spreadsheet, we can insert comments that will pop up when we move our mouse over the cell. You can see that we have comments that are now appearing as I move my mouse across the different planets, that is the different cells within this picture. Here is another example. We have a picture of a, an old steam engine and I have labelled certain parts of the picture. The labels appear where the little red triangle is placed. We need to go to Page Layout and we're going to insert a background. We must be careful about the size of the picture because this is going to be tiled within our spreadsheet area. If the picture is too small, then it's going to tile too many times. So it's a good idea to determine the size of your picture that you want to use first. A medium-sized picture, about 640 pixel, would be about appropriate. We still end up with tiling because it's going to fill the whole of the spreadsheet. But we're going to work out the boundary size of our picture. In this case it is J21. We'll go back to our home menu and we're going to fill the entire spreadsheet with a white layer. So we select fill and white and OK. Now the picture has disappeared. We'll go back to our J21 cell and drag a box to highlight that area and we're going to remove the fill now. So we go to the fill menu and we want no color. Then select OK. We can now see just the one instance of the picture. It is still tiled behind but we only need to see this part. We select an individual cell, right click and insert comment and we have uh, a comment box. There will be a name in the box depending on the name that you've been using with your computer. You can keep it or delete it if you want. In this case I've deleted it and I'm going to type in the name that I want to appear when I hover my mouse over that cell. As the mouse moves around we see it will pop up automatically. We'll do it again in another area here so we have right clicked, insert comment and type in the new information that you want to have displayed. We'll resize the box and we can also change some of the characteristics such as the size, the font and the bold. So we'll try again. We've we'll right clicked, insert comment, change the details in the box. It's easy enough to change um, any comments that you've put there. We can edit the comment with the edit comment menu. In this case we're going to unbold the text there so we'll just make it a little bit smaller. We can copy our comment and paste it somewhere else. Now we have two cells with the same comment. Another way of doing this is to highlight a number of cells and merge them together. So we're going to use the merge and center command and then we'll click in that new cell and create a comment and that whole area now will create or pop up a single comment box. 
The last thing we want to do now is remove the grid lines on page layout. We're going to untick the view grid lines. And there you are.